What's up YouTube? This is Colton from MLGB. Uh, I just want to take you to a battle I just had. It actually was pretty good. Um, I was going up against someone uh, with about 150 more cups than me. Uh, as you can see, uh, this guy had max cards and I was able to come out victorious uh, with my deck. I just want to show you how I did it because um, going against max troops is not hard. Or sorry, is is pretty hard. Uh, this guy was a level 12. Uh, looks like most of his cards are maxed out. Uh, so let's hop into the battle and uh, see how it goes. We already know I won. But uh, let's see. Uh, starting hand is decent. Uh, I forget what I do here. Um, oh, I say oops because I actually thought I was going to do a tournament battle. Uh, right here, I realize, um, what are those things called? Uh, the knights, not knights, uh, whatever they are, uh, guards, uh, they go down real easy from fire spirits, uh, and then I have my, um, mini P.E.K.K.A. Uh, that can take care of, uh, the miner, uh, so I can do a counter push. Um, so that's what I do here. Uh, he hits me with the poison, which doesn't affect the mini P.E.K.K.A. that much. Uh, that's when I decide to do, I think, a hog in front and, um, and goblins. And you know why I did that is because I want the hog in front and I want the goblins in front uh, tanking for the tower. Because uh, if I just let the mini P.E.K.K.A. in front, he'd take a shot, maybe two from the tower, and he'd be dead right away. Uh, so what I did is I put the mini P.E.K.K.A. with the goblins and the hog um, try to get as many things in front of the mini P.E.K.K.A. as I could uh, to get a decent push going on. Um, so I'm going to press play here. Um, as you can see, he drops the minions. Um, I instantly want to zap it. So that's what I do here. Mini P.E.K.K.A. got one swing off. That's almost 600 damage, I believe. Um, so right here, the minions are coming in hot. He's dropping the miner. So, if he's dropping the miner here, those minions are going to have a free shot at my tower. So what I decide to do, uh, I, I believe I use the fire spirits again here, on the side, take care of those, and then I do the mini pack again to take care of the, uh, take care of the miner. He drops the guards, which kind of screws me right now, so I drop um, the princess in behind, just to take them out. Um, mini pack is dead. Princess is pretty good actually against uh, against the furnace, um, but the furnace is a pain. So I just drop a hog in there to get rid of it. Probably not a good elixir trade. Uh, may have not been the best move, but I don't want him starting to get two furnaces on one side because uh, that's when he's going to do some serious damage and take that tower. He drops the miner, uh, but it's by itself. I wait a second to see if it is by itself, and it is. Uh, so I just drop fire spirits, um, because I have zap, I have arrows, uh, I've got a level, a level 11, uh, level 11 mini packet here, so I drop my 8, you know, that's a clear trade-off, uh, but his are higher level, so I consider it a decent trade-off. He drops the furnace again, I drop the princess, uh, because I want to take care of those fire spirits, because he's a higher level than me, even if we were the same level, uh, one of the fire spirits would make it to the tower. So I do a push on the right side. Um, I believe he does have a uh, So I kind of separated my goblins and my fire spirits. Um, mini pack will take all sorts of damage. Um, yeah, arrows take care of minions. A little push going on here. Um, I really don't like the furnace. I don't like going up against the furnace. I've pretty much decided at this point he's going to end up taking that tower. That's why I decided I wanted to push the other side. Um, right here I decided, yeah, I'm screwed. i got to do something on the other side here. Uh, I'm going to take this tower. <clears throat> Luckily, fire spirits are pretty good, and i got to swing up there. I only have 15 seconds left, um, so I know i got to do some, some stuff here, but i got arrows. i got to I know my arrows do more than enough damage, so uh, I'm going to take it out. He doesn't have enough time to take out my tower. Uh, 2 to 1 tower victory against the level 11, or sorry, against the level 12 with max card. So 
I consider that a pretty good win. Um, those happen from time to time. Um, things have to go right. If my cards are in the wrong order, it's really hard against uh, max level troops. But I can do it. It can be done uh, with this deck. Uh, this mm -hmm. deck got me past 4k, hopefully over 4100 uh, this season. I think there's like six days left. Uh, not really pushing too hard yet. I uh, still want to easily get my crown chest and not be too um, miserable when I lose. Um, so I'm staying a little lower right now. Um, but as, as you can see where I am, I'm still going up against max troops. Um, so it's a decent place to be. Um, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to sign off. Uh, I hope you guys... Uh, like that video. Hopefully you like the pausing and explaining. I haven't done that before um, But if you're a spark user and you have princess uh, Try out my deck. It's it's a great deck. Yes, my cards my sparky and princess are level 3 and my commons are 12 um, Working on getting my mini packet of 9, but uh, it's an ongoing process um, But yeah, hope you guys liked my video um, And take care clash on